In this video, we will look at how we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to write equations of circles that are centered at the origin. So consider the circle I have shown here. The center of the circle is actually at the origin, 0, 0. And the circle has a radius r units long. And we'll look at this terminal point that has coordinates of x comma y. And we can draw in this right triangle here. So we have it shown in dashed here, but I'll highlight it in green. Hypotenuse of this right triangle is r units long. Horizontal side length is x units long. You should see that because the x coordinate of that terminal point is x. And then the vertical um, side of this triangle is y units long because that terminal point has a y coordinate of y. Now we have a right triangle and we know the side lengths. And therefore the Pythagorean theorem tells us that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Remember that the Pythagorean theorem relates the side lengths of a right triangle in this manner. And therefore, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And it doesn't matter what this angle measure is. We can pick any point on this circle, like any uh, coordinate pair x, y on that circle, and it's always going to be true that x squared plus y squared equals r squared because we can always draw in this right triangle, use the Pythagorean theorem, and we end up with this equation here. So let's see how we can put this to work in various situations. So we'll look at the following example. Suppose a circle is centered at 0, 0, and the point xy equals 4.024 comma 3.749 is on the circle. And we want to know the radius of the circle. So we should draw a quick diagram of this. So we've got our axes here. Circle is centered at the origin. We'll draw this circle in. That's supposed to be a circle. And then the point 4.024 comma 3.749 is on the circles. We'll just draw that point right there. It's maybe not to scale, but this is our point 4.024 comma 3.749. We wanna know what the radius length of the circle is. So like how long is that radius there? So one of the things we know is that x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to the radius length squared. We actually know the x coordinate and y coordinate of a point on this circle, and we can plug those values into our equation relating x and y to the radius of the circle. Therefore, we can say that 4.024 squared plus 3.749 squared will be equal to the radius length squared. If we rearrange this a little bit and take a square root, we end up with the radius of the circle being equal to the square root of 4.024 squared plus 3.749 squared. It's the square root of that sum. And that is approximately equal to 5.5. Therefore, we can say the radius of the circle is approximately 5.5 units long. So this radius is about 5.5 units long. Let's look at one more example. Suppose a circle with a radius 13 units long is centered at the origin and the point x comma negative 11.5 is on the circle. And the point is in quadrant 4 which is the bottom right quadrant. We want to know the x coordinate of the point. So we should always start by drawing a diagram. We'll draw a little set of axes here. We have a circle centered at the origin that has a radius that is 13 units long. So 13 comma zero is that rightmost point. And the point x comma negative 11.5 is on the circle. So negative 11.5 is maybe somewhere around here. And we know that the point is in quadrant four. So we draw it on this bottom right um, side of the circle. So this point is x comma negative 11.5, and we want to know that value of x, what that x coordinate is. So one of the things we know, based on the equation of the circle, is x squared plus negative 11.5 squared will be equal to 13 squared. Therefore, x squared is equal to 13 squared minus negative 11.5 squared, and so x will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 13 squared minus negative 11.5 squared. So the square root here, so we can say that x is equal to 
plus or minus um, about 6.062. So I should put approximately here. So if you computed the value of this square root right here, it's approximately 6.062, but we still have this plus or minus that we have to deal with. Now looking at the diagram, we should be able to tell that since this point is to the right of the y-axis, the x-coordinate of this point should be positive. And in this case, that tells us that we shouldn't use the negative value, we should use the positive one. And so the x-coordinate of this point is about 6.062. So in this situation, we can use the equation of this circle, but when we get to the end, we have to do a little, uh, a little bit of deciding whether or not we want to take a positive or negative value for the square root value here.